world. This is the most likely physics practical 2021 electricity question for this year. Why heck? So we are given the apparatus. We have the ammeter. That's the ammeter used for measuring the current in the circuit. We have the key or the switch. We have our accumulator or battery, the two ohms resistor. We have the crocodile clip. That's the crocodile clip. As you can see. All right, that's the constantine wire. That's the constantine wire. It's already attached to the meter rule in on this uh, meter bridge. Okay, it's already attached on the meter bridge. I did that. Now we have the voltmeter. The voltmeter, the only use here is to measure the EMF of the accumulator or our battery. Okay, we only use the voltmeter to measure the EMF of the battery or the accumulator. So when you hear the accumulator, it simply means the battery. All right. So these are the set of apparatus that we are given, including the connecting wires. Okay. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you find this video informative and educative. All right. So the next thing we are going to do here now is to measure the EMF of the battery or our accumulator. Okay, so I'm making some disconnections right now. Okay. Now, we have the positive terminal of the battery. That's the positive terminal and the negative terminal. Okay, the positive terminal, negative terminal, and the positive terminal. So, how do we make this connection? We make the connection such that positive goes to positive, negative goes to negative. The red is the positive side of the voltmeter. Okay, so we make... The connections that way if not you will not have any deflections so we connect the positive side of the battery to the positive side of the voltmeter and as well the negative terminal of the battery the wire goes to the negative terminal of the voltmeter and our voltmeter has deflected and the value we are reading up the value there from our voltmeter is 2.4 volts as you can see 2.4 volts okay so we record that and keep it somewhere all right so we make these connections right now so that's where the use of the voltmeter ends so we put that one aside and we set up our system apparatus based on the diagram displayed on your screen okay so that's how we are going to set up the system so that is that all right the negative side of the battery the negative terminal of the battery goes to the to one end of the key okay all right we make our connections tight then from the other end of the key we run it to the two ohms resistor from the other end of the key, we run it to the two ohms resistor. So that's from the negative terminal to the other end of the key. Now to the two ohms resistor. Okay. That is that. I've already made that connection. Then from the two ohms resistor, from the other end of the two ohm resistor to the negative side of the ammeter. Because from the negative side of the battery, the wire must go through and come back to the negative terminal of the ammeter. Remember, negative to negative. So that's the negative terminal of the battery. The red is a negative. The, the black is a negative, sorry. And the red is the positive. So that is the way to do your connection. Then from the positive side of the battery, we will now connect it to the positive side of the ammeter. We are using the 3 ampere the 3 ampere maximum deflection here very very important so since we are using the 3 ampere maximum deflection we will be using the lower graduations now one end of the constantine wire is connected to the negative terminal of the ammeter it could also be connected to one the other end of the 2 ohm resistor but the negative terminal of the ammeter is more stable for me the crocodile clip, a wire is attached to one end of the crocodile clip and it is joined to the opposite side of the two ohms resistor. 
it is joined to the opposite side of the two ohms resistor or there is a gap on that wire there so I, I prefer a tighter connection will be made there so I have to put it there so one thing you must understand is that the crocodile clip is attached at one end of the two ohm resistor while the constantine wire is attached at the other end of the two ohm resistor if you don't do it that way your particle won't work so take note of that very very very, very important okay okay that's right the, the constantine wire attached at one end of the two ohm resistor the crocodile clip at the other end all right so the second thing we are told to do is to close the key and read and record the current when the crocodile clip is not making contact with the constantine wire okay so the crocodile clip will not make contact with the constantine wire so that's the key so i have closed the key now so looking at the current being read off okay a closer look there you will see what we have there is 0.66 ampere and how is that so you are using the lower graduations and there are 10 small divisions from 0 to 0 0.6 is 10 small divisions that means each single division is what 0.06 ampere so what we have there is 0 0.66 so we disconnect the key to prevent current drainage battery drainage sorry okay so after that the next thing we are going to do is to make contact with the constantine wire using our crocodile clip at a distance of 90 centimeters so we read off 90 cm from the meter rule and using the crocodile clip we make contact there okay so I'm gonna show you as my 90 cm as you can see that's my point 90 cm i'm making contact already using the crocodile clip okay there so i'm going to close the key and read and record the current that will result all right so make sure that your connections are tight very very important okay closing the key right now the ammeter deflects and the reading we have there is 1.08 ampere 1.08 ampere we disconnect the key all right okay so how do i get my 1.08 remember i told you that we have from 0 to 0 0.6 is 10 small divisions and each of those division is 0 0.06 so we have 0 0.06 0 0.12 0 0.18 just like that okay so that, that was how i got 1.08 ampere all right so the next thing we are going to do is simply readjust the contact point on the constantine wire with our crocodile clip to the point of um, 80 cm and close the key and read and record the current that results okay so we are going to locate the position of 80 cm on our meter rule and make contact using the crocodile clip as you can see there it's already done my contact has been made so i'm going to close the key read and record the current that results all right ensure that your connections are tight okay and make sure you avoid error due to parallax when taking your readings so i close the key right now and there's a deflection and the value of current i have there is 1.14 1.14 okay so i put it down record it and disconnect the key okay 1.14 amperes now the next thing i'm going to do is also to adjust okay adjust my point of contact to what 70 cm okay that's my point 70 cm that's 70 cm as you can see that's 70 cm okay this particle is very simple. It's the simplest so far. So I want you guys to pay close attention. Make sure you perform this experiment. Don't skip it. This is the simplest. Okay, so I'm going to close the key right now and watch out for the deflection. So I've closed my key and there's a deflection. And the value there is 1.2 amperes. Okay, I remove my key. The value there is 1.2 amperes okay 
you write it down 1.2 amperes so i'm going to make an adjustment again to a point of 60 okay at the point of 60 cm i'll make contact with the constant thing while using the crocodile clip okay and this point 60 as you can see so i've made my contact then i'm going to close the key and record the current the result so i have a value of 1.26 so the current there is 1.26 just one graduation away from 1.2 so i'll read and record it then adjusting to a position of 50 cm okay that's my point 50 cm now okay i'm going to close the key and read the current and results so closing the key now and reading the current make sure that your connections are tight okay i have to ensure that my connections are tight so i will get a more accurate reading okay so ensuring tight connections i close the key again and read and record the current that follows so what am i having there okay i am having 1.32 amperes 1.32 amperes so that's the value of the current when the distance is 50 cm so 1.32 amperes as you can see make sure your connections need to be tight if not it will have a faulty reading okay so we will take that down you record that all right so that's where it ends now so we'll tabulate our readings okay we will make a provision for d make a provision for current I'll make a provision for the inverse of D. All right. So we'll now go ahead and plot our graphs. Don't forget that if you find this channel educative and informative, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share and communicate to your friends. All right. So straight to graph plotting now. We have our table of values. The EMF of the battery is 2.4 volts, as we did earlier and the io is 0 0.66 ampere so when the distance is 90 cm the current is 1.08 ampere and the inverse of the distance is 0 0.0111 the same thing goes to when the distance is 80 the current is 1.14 and the inverse of the distance was um evaluated the same thing goes to when the distance was 70 the current was 1.2 when the distance was 60 the current was 1.26 and when the distance was 50 the current was 1.32 amperes also the inverse of the distance we are all evaluated all right so for the graph for the graph plotting we are plotting the graph of the current against the inverse of d now, the scale used here is 2 cm to represent 0 0.5 units on the vertical axis and 1 cm to represent 0 0.0025 units on the horizontal axis. Very, very important. Take note of that. Now, you can see our table of values have uniform number of decimal placements and each column have their respective units. Okay, for the horizontal axis, you can see I wrote times 10 raised to power minus 2 there. I did it that way so that such that it can be able for I can be able to easily okay um, scale the horizontal axis comfortably without any issues and read the values off appropriately. Okay, going to plotting the points now. So when when the inverse is zero point zero one one, the current is one point zero eight ampere. So we we'll mark that point out. So when the D inverse is 0 0.0125, the current is 1.14 ampere. We mark it out. When D inverse is 0 0.0143, all right, the current is 1.2, and we mark it out. When D inverse is 0 0.0167, the current is 1.26 so we mark the point out and lastly when the inverse is 0 0.02 okay the current is 1.32 so we mark the point out as well 
okay then we are going to join this point with a straight line which is called the line of best fit and drawing a convenient right angle triangle to find our slope so the slope is usually change in the vertical axis divided by change in the horizontal axis all right and the two values we have here for our vertical axis is 1.32 minus 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.02 minus 0 okay and simplifying to get our slope we have 0 0.52 divided by 0 0.02 that gives us what 26 ampere centimeter that is the unit for the slope 26 ampere centimeter take note of that so talking about the intercept c on the vertical axis as you can see the intercept c is at 0 0.8 ampere okay and that is where the intercept is now the next thing that we are told to evaluate from our graph is k k is the in the the intercept over the slope okay and that gives us 0 0.03 per cm because what the two amperes will cancel each other out when the two ampere cancels each other out we only have per cm left to deal with all right okay so now they asked us to find a value of current for which the distance is 55 cm for which to do that we have to find the inverse of the distance and when we do that we have 0 0.0182 and reading it off in the vertical axis will be left with what is approximately 1.30 ampere so that will be the value for the current when the distance d is 55 centimeters thank you for being a part of my video